Hi, I'm Adam Brooks, Product Manager here at Atlas Capco, and today we'll be going through how to remove and reinstall a grinding wheel on an angle grinder. Now to start off, make sure that you always have your PPE or personal protection equipment, such as a hard hat, gloves, safety glasses, hearing protection, safety vest, and steel-toed boots. Also, the most important thing when working or inspecting a grinder or tool is always make sure that you disconnect your air source from that tool. All right, now let's get started on how to remove the grinding wheel on your angle grinder. First, make sure that you have the correct tools. You can use the tools or wrenches that were provided when you purchased the grinder from Atlas Capco. Or if you misplace those tools, you can also use any other tools such as a crescent wrench that'll do the job the same. Now the first thing that we have to do is put your wrench on your spindle nut and then take your Allen wrench and you want to remove this stop nut. Once the stop nut is removed, you then would take the same wrench and put it on your spindle nut. Take your crescent wrench or another wrench, put it on the nut that is on the grinding wheel itself. And then you push together to loosen. So both wrenches are coming towards each other in the opposite direction. Then you can just grab the spindle nut with your hand and slowly spin the grinding wheel off of your grinder. You then will take your new grinding wheel and do the same thing in reverse. Take your wrench, put it on your spindle nut. Take your other wrench, put it on the nut of your grinding wheel. And this time you're going to push apart from each other to tighten. And then you're going to put your stop screw back on. Same thing, you would take your wrench and put it on your spindle nut, take your Allen wrench and tighten that back. Once that's complete, you can check and make sure that it's tight and it's spinning correctly. So that is how you replace the grinding wheel on this type of grinder. However, we do have another grinder, which is our LSV39. It's a little simpler to replace the abrasive or grinding wheel or sanding disc on this type of grinder. This type of grinder has a spindle lock button. And what this does is it ensures that the spindle is locked. So it acts as another wrench or your second wrench. Take your wrench, put it on the nut of the sanding disc. Keep firm pressure on the spindle lock. And then once that is complete, you can spin off your sanding disc or grinding disc if you're using this as a grinder. But if you are using this as a grinder, make sure that you reinstall the grinder guard before using this with a grinder or cutting wheel. So to reinstall this, you simply push the spindle lock button until the abrasive is on, tighten it with your wrench, holding the spindle lock button, and you're ready to go. So this has been how to change a grinding disc on an angle grinder. But if you have any additional questions, please reach out to your Atlas Capco representative. Thank you.